collect come with the comic haul this is going to consist of ebay purchases uh purchased from the auction new york warriors uh just um stuff from the lcs and uh some stuff i did with the with the with with erod shout out to erod he did uh he, he we did a pre-screen through new york warriors and the, the books came back finally came to my house Finally came home and uh, shout out to him. I got some stuff more in the works in the future that uh, that hopefully the, you guys can see later on. Um, we're gonna try to do that shit on East Meets West live show unboxing and grades of, of of our comics as well as I'll bring it back to my show to showcase people who who don't watch East Meets West or don't have time watching that and and sometimes miss the recap can actually watch my show too as well. Um, I got some books to show with some some um, um, throw-ins and, uh, and some stuff that I that I got purchases. Uh, some stuff that I think that might heat up or stuff that I, I enjoy as a comic collector that and that I put aside for the PC and for, for just all purposes. I'm a big collector of comics and I, I enjoy comic collecting. As you can see, my videos be popping them like popcorn, you know what I mean? <coughs> Colonel, you know what I mean? Colonel after Colonel. I uh, just love to just enjoy showing you guys my showcase of my books and what I grab and what I get all the time because this is my shit. This is my, this is my thing. I love collecting. I won't stop unless, unless something happens. But until then, I'm going to keep rolling, keep going, and non-stop. And then show, shout out to my boys in East Meets West show we do on Sundays. Shout out to Coffee and Comics with the New York Warriors on Sundays. On Saturday, oh, it was a Saturday mornings, actually. It's like Saturday morning cartoons. It's always a good day to start off with some knowledge that they share and some knowledge that they bring. I try to jump in when I can and chime in. But um, like I said, uh, just check us out. You know, we, we, do have, uh, I, we do have shows and stuff coming up in the works. We have TiVo coming out. Um, hopefully, uh, if I put this video, I might put this video, delay it, but uh, Tebow is going to be a, a, is a spot guest this week, this Sunday, that either passed, and uh, it, 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 that guy's a great guy in the community, and really guy who puts out knowledge when it comes to co um, comic collecting and what to hunt, and he's very knowledgeable and shares a lot of knowledge with the community, and I appreciate that with Tebow, and like I said, uh, shout out to A&S Comics, always always on the grind of, of getting me my, my foc pull list and things that they can find that i can't find and searching my local lcs's but like i said this is my haul video from here the, the, what i hunted for what i found on ebay and whatever the secondary market hope you guys like enjoy let's go you boy let's do this yeah What's up, everybody? It's Gomez Comic Collector coming with the Comic Call. Like I said, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the TiVo who we had our, our guest, Spotlight guest on East Meets West show this, this past this Sunday. Um, hopefully to get, get him back in there again. I know he had some stuff to do, so he was only able to get 60 minutes on us. But it, it is what it is. But a great guy, great knowledgeable. I liked his origin story. If you didn't check out East Meets West on uh, TiVo, where he, he talked about how he originated collecting comics. I never heard that story. I was pumped to hear that because I like to hear stories upon what comic collectors in our community and outside the community that learned or was able to collect comics in certain ways that was either... Memorable moments as a child or growing up or people who recently just co collect comics just due to the fact of movies. Uh, let's just go. Let's just roll. Let's go. The first thing. But uh, shout out to East Meets West shows we do on Sundays. New York Warriors Coffee and Comics on Saturdays. Uh, they do shows and auctions on Mondays. And I, you know, Big E's is a great guy. Great person in the community. Make sure you give him a sub. He's almost at that 2K. Congratulations to Principal Defix on that 2,500 subs. Well-deserved. You guys are really doing some work and uh, really hammering out movies, uh, movies, huh? videos and shit on there. Let's go. First off is Department of Truth. This is the one in 25. I was able to pick up two copies for $24.99. I'm happy to have those in the PC. Uh, what can I say? I picked them up. You never know what could go with this book. It could be a hard book to find in the future, but there, there is a lot of, a lot of covers and issues out there. Um, next one I picked up was this one right here. I picked this up for like 15 shipped. Uh, this is the uh, the was it the Michael Turner Hulk's variants? I think they're like one in tens. Issue number number six is a one in ten variant, and number seven is just the mixture of the green and the red Hulk. Uh, Michael Turner, rest in peace. Really dope under uh, really dope artist in the community. Shout out to my broski. Uh, was Cholula Comics? Uh, his 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 broski. Oh, 
think it was um, uh, what's it? Uh, um, I think it was Jose or something that uh, you know, he's able to hook me up with these books. I don't have this in PC. This is the Black Panther, like the fucking carpet variant, and as well as to- uh, voices indicated with Wolverine. I really like that. That how has the the the, the unmasked and masked old school brown costume in jello. You boy. Shout out to Unknown Comics. I was able to pick this up. This is issue number two or number two to fifth print. Uh, I, I picked this up personally because when cons start to open up, this is something I want to get Alberto Ramos signed with a little bit of a head sketch on top. That would look dope for the PC. Something in the future that I'm going to be in the works. This is my uh, X23. Dope ass fucking Marco Mastrasso cover. Big fan of that artist. This is the dope ass. Dope ass cover you guys probably seen it on my IG. Uh, Venom 30. This is the variant. I forgot who did this. I think it's Dave Raposa. Uh, this is that, that dope ass that Carnage variant. And I was able to get this one too as well. I picked these up because I, I really this is like my my second or third or third and fourth copy of X Force number 14, the Macro Mastrasso. I'm really big on that bad boy. And uh I had to pick up multiples for that. Um some LC well I picked this up for like I think like 15 bucks. This is the one in 50, the Virgin, uh, Mark Brooks, uh, Bizarre Vart, Bizarre River, uh, comic. Well, it's a great story. I read it. I'm going to reread it later on to this evening. Um, let's see. Uh, this is a book that I, that I, that I really enjoy reading. That one that I pick up, when I pick up, I read it within a day. Uh, it's Casual Fling. It's a crazy story, crazy ass story. Um, she finally got some issues with the side man and ends up telling the truth on, the, uh, with her man. It's a great story, crazy story. Uh, Harley Quinn book number five. I was only able to find that the A cover, the B cover. I have not found yet, but I'm not in a rush. But I'm I'm trying to collect the whole run of, of Batman White Knight presents a Harley Quinn that's done by um Sean Murphy. So I'm happy to get that in the PC. Um, these books might spike up, but you never know. So I was able to get two. I think this is my third and fourth or second and third. Or I can't remember. But uh, High Republic number one, The Ventures. I was able to pick up two more copies in the P in the uh, for the LCS, like I said, and then I was able to get this one, issue number two, and issue number three. So I was able to get those. But I'm happy to have that in the PC. And let's see, uh, and then uh, this is like a what was it like a cameo appearance of um, what was it my was it fucking um. What is it fucking called? Molly? Miraculous Marley? Molly? Molly the drug Molly? Your mug? Molly? So 106. I, um, one LCS had, had, didn't have any, but I was able, because I do it in my pool. I do have the A cover for my pool list. So I was able to get that, those ones and, and for, the, for the PC. And then I got just one cover of the B cover just for the PC purposes. So that's the Batman 106. I heard it was a really good story. Uh, the one in 25, I might get it later on this week. I might be able to get it this week or earlier next week. Uh, I'm not in a rush, but for the PC, I found this in the back issue, so I think like five bucks. This is John JTC, John Todd Christopher. This is a um, toy variant, toy exclusive. And then um, for some of the variants I got with this one right here, this is the hidden variant. Shout out to my boy, uh, Thurl. He does a... Uh, any spec light spotlights he'll do it later today tuesday does them on tuesdays and uh i'm happy to get this one the pc the lcs had this for 24.99 i said you know what for this i know this book's gonna be the one of them that's gonna be looked sought for besides the one in 25 150 175 one in 100 this one is another one that that's in the in the mix that's hard that's a mystery to find sometimes and then some lcs's that didn't order a lot but i think that book is highly Highly ordered and a lot, a lot of LCS is because of the covers and because of the story. Because Scott Snyder and Tony Daniels, they're big in the, in the uh, comic book industry. But uh, be on the lookout for second print. Second print, I'll probably show something like that. Second print is one that I'm going to pick up at least two copies for myself and maybe get one of those signed. That's my goal, get get the second print signed from the for the uh, for the artist or the uh, storyteller, which is what was it, Scott, Scott Snyder, who wrote, who wrote the story in a way. So um yeah, this is the second the hidden the hidden cover. So I was happy to get down the PC. I was also to pick up this one, the one in twenty five. I think this is the first parents key. I can't remember who. I'll top my head. Apologize, 
but I was able to get the connecting cover to the uh, High Republic Adventures, the one in ten. Uh, picked, the, picked, the, picked that one up for $29.99 and picked that one up for $19.99. I figured that hey, this one in the secondary market is about like a $40 book. This one's about the, about the, about what I paid for. So I'm happy to get that. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I'm digging the stories on those ones. The High Republics. I picked this one up. Shout out to my boy Joker M21. He picked one up too as well. I was able to pick this one up for $10. It's a 1 in 10 variant. It's a, it's a scarce one because not a lot of people, these Marvel actions... Are not like really, they're really made for kids in a way. These stories and these ones are not a lot. Not else he has to carry the ten issues of this one, but it's issue number one. I figured I'd get it. Maybe issue number two if I can get number one and ten, that'll be dope. I picked this up in the back issues for ten bucks. Nothing crazy. Uh, this is the the Star Wars Adventures number one. This was the the, the one prior to the one that's came out right now. This is the one in ten. I just like the 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 uh, I forgot her name, but uh. I just like the way the art is. Like I said, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Um, I was able to pick this up for $20. Uh, it's a really near mint, near mint condition. I think it's like in the high 8s, maybe the 9s. It's a really good condition uh, uh, book. It's, it's It just has a roll, a spine roll, but it can be pressed out. But this is the first appearance of uh, Throd. Uh, when was it? Thor becomes a frog. And shit like that. I'm I'm gonna go back and probably get try to get the 65 and 66 on that. And they're 10 bucks a piece. I'm gonna see if I can do 15 for both. Uh, this one right here is 360, 385 Thor. This is a, just a great uh, iconic battle of Hulk and Thor going at it. I th I like the clean white background. It's a really neat mint. Picked that up for six bucks. I figured ah, you know it's not not that uh not crazy. I I'm able. To, this is this is a 10 part Infinite Frontier DC uh, Swamp thing. Uh, the the cover on the right, um, done by Francisco Matina, and then Swamp Thing. So I'm really I, I really enjoyed the Future State Swamp Thing story. So I'm gonna see what this is all about. I haven't really read it, but I heard good things about it. And I I need to, I want to read this right here. This is the zero. So this is little stories of what's gonna go on, I guess, in the process of the Infinite Frontier. Uh, this one I picked this up because I was digging through my back issues, and I realized I didn't have this issue. So I was able to pick up the final issue. I haven't read really Doomsday Clock. I read the first two or three issues. And then, like, it started to just take forever for them to release and for to get out. And the fact that I was just like, you know what? I, I need to pick this up just to complete my run. And uh, what, what can I say? I was able to pick it up and find it. There was the last one there. The piece. I just picked this up for, um, what was it? Uh, uh, what was his name? Art Germ Purposes. And this is another one I got from uh, Unknown Comics. This is uh, uh, the Spider-Man 50. I just like the, I like the, uh, was it the Gabriel Delato? A uh, sick-ass cover. Uh, dope-ass, dope-ass uh, comic. And, then, and the LCS, the final pick that picked up with the LCS was this Bat Batwoman story by Greg Rucka. I picked this up for, I think, 20 bucks. It was the whole run. This thing in secondary mark goes between 30 to 40 bucks, but it's the 850, 54, 55, 56, and 57. It's the whole story run by Greg Rucka, so I, I'm, I can't wait to dig into this and read more about it. And then, and then, um, shout out to my boy, uh, like I said, what's it called, um, Big E's Comics. I was able to get this one for 50 shipped. That is, this is the Mortal Hulk. Let me see. Let me, let me lift this up a little bit. Let me move back a little bit more. Apologize. Just so you guys can see a little bit of the whole... I uh, apologize for the movement, but... Uh, it's a 9.4 CGC. It's Immortal Hulk. I think this is the one in 50. I got this for 50 shipped. It came with this book. So from Big East Comics, Ray Slab. I'm good for the PC. It's a 9.4, but I'll take it. Um, that one is... Uh, that is a uh, that was he threw in. He also threw in this as as a, an AOK -okay type slash threw it into my box. It's this the Savage Dragon number one. Uh, this is the original number one. I think this, this is the A cover, and uh, I I think I have this, but not in this pristine condition. And this is near mint, and he told me it was near mint. And I agree with him, and I'm happy to have this. Maybe this slab it one day as uh, maybe slab it one day in the future. But um, but I also the reason he sent me also my books. What we did in a uh, what's it called? And uh, was it pre screen? This is the Batman 102. He, he, sorry for the glare, but this is the Batman 102 
And this is the be the was the Rise of the Gods, the one in twenty five. These go between between a hundred and hundred fifty dollar books. And uh, for the nine point eight, this is a dope ass, uh, done by uh, was it Code uh, Abdo cover? I don't know, but I just like the way he was black. And you see myself in the reflection. Thumbs up, you yeah, boy. But uh, yeah, those are the some things. And then shout out to my boy um, Joker. This is one that he sent me that I that I did, and I pointed the screen. The um, I should have took the bag, but sorry for the glare. But this is a nine eight. I like this cover. It's very underrated. One in twenty five issue number five is done by Vi Victor Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic. I don't know. I don't know. It's really this artist, but I just liked it. I just liked the way he did Wolverine on that. It looks like a faded type Wolverine. And then um, my Broski. He threw this in as an AOK. -okay. This is a David Mack cover. One in 10, I believe, the one in 15. Uh, near Mint. Uh, I can't wait to get the sign of the future slab. This is one that I'm going to have definitely get done up in the PC. Uh, he knows I'm about, I'm a big horror fan. So he threw these in. He said they're not near Mints, but you know what? For the PC, uh, and they're in a, they're in a, they're in a, like Halloween type there, I, I put a little area where I have my horror comics at, and then during Halloween, I like to reread my comics that I've read. If I haven't read any that I have, I like to read them because that's like the month of October. I like to really enjoy reading horror shit and watching stuff that's that's straight horror horrific. <laughs> and then uh, he threw in this one as well. This is the Adam Hughes. He said he had a shitload. I said just throw one in there, and he also gave me this one right here. Uh, Lord of the Vampires, number 66, Dracula, Tomb of the Dracula, which I'm slowly collecting. But uh, little by little, I'll get them as the price is right. And I never really read this story, but this is, I think, part one of Dark, was it Dark Covenant? Uh, issue one, two, and three, Blood Realm. And then he gave me also issue one, two, and three of the second uh, uh, limited series. I really appreciate it, bro. I, I, I He knows I like horror. I'm a big horror fan. And um, I'm happy for that. Uh, like I said, shout out to my bro Skis, Joker, uh, Big E's, Joker East meets West Comics now. Uh, Big E's for, for giving me that A-OK. -okay. My LCS's, my hunts, my grinds, my pickups. I do have some more books on the works, but I don't want to keep this too big of a haul video. I just want to keep it in, in, uh, in, uh, in, Within 15 to 20, 15 to 16 minutes. Be sure to check us out on East Meets West. We'd like to do shows. We got stuff coming. We got stuff in the works. This is what I do. I like to showcase what I picked up, what I found. Give me a comment, link in the below, a like, a subscribe if you have not seen this channel. Just stuff that I want to do on my channel. Just basically bring back haul videos and stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, from all y'all who've been watching, supporting, uh, be on the lookout. I'm going to probably do a 700 sub subscriber giveaway pretty soon just to give back to the community for give for even watching, taking the time to watch and, and, and support me as a channel besides the East Meets West comics. And I appreciate you guys. And like I said, like, subscribe, sub. And uh, I have more stuff coming out in the works. I do not stop grinding. I do not stop hunting. I'm working uh, two jobs to, to, to do this ho uh, hobby. And I really enjoy working because it gives me goals and stuff to reach besides my normal duties of what needs to be done in the household and in everything else. But yeah, yippee! Let's go, Ms. Comic Collector. I'm out. 15 and done. Run. Let's go.